Hello everyone and welcome to lecture 10. This is the final lecture of our end-to-end -end MLOps with Databricks course. This lecture, we will dive into code right away to see how to create monitoring dashboards using inference tables and Databricks Lakehouse. Now, we are going to see our example code for creating monitoring table based on inference logs. This lecture, we are going through lecture 10, Marvel create monitoring table notebook in notebooks folder and also we are introducing a new module in our source code called monitoring.py. Let's quickly go through what monitoring.py has. We define an helper function for creating or refreshing monitoring table. This function simply processes the inference data from delta table, parses the request and response JSON files and writes the resulting data frame into a delta table for monitoring purposes. We start with reading the raw inference logs, which include JSON encoded request and response data from delta table. And then in the next section, we parse and unpack the input features and model predictions. You may recognize these column names from our payload structure. Then we proceed with cleaning and validating the data, filtering out any rows with null or invalid predictions. We may also need to change some data types for monitoring table. And at the last step, we write our inference table, parse inference table as model monitoring to our catalog. And then we check whether the Lakehouse monitoring is already enabled for this table. If it is, then we refresh the table. If it is not, we proceed with creating monitoring table, which is the function defined below. This function creates a new monitoring table for our model monitoring. Here we define some configurations. We set the problem type, which is classification. We pass the prediction column name the timestamp column, and we define granularity, which means the metrics will be aggregated and refreshed in 30 minute time window. This SDK function will quickly create a dashboard where you can see your monitoring results. In an ideal setup, just like we have mentioned in the previous lecture, we would have a separate workflow which updates our monitoring table and the dashboard. For this one, we introduce a new script, which is refreshmonitor.py, which simply runs the same code as we've seen in the notebook, create or refresh monitor. And for this script, we create a separate workflow in our bundle. In the resource section, you will see bundle monitoring.yml. If you remember from the last lecture, we have modularized our bundle deployment. So we have Databricks YAML file, which is our main bundle configuration. And here we include our mo monitoring workflow. You can either do this or simply add a star to include all the resources available in the resources folder. Once we do this, we can now Once we update our main bundle configuration with any resource, we can run Databricks bundle validation and deploy to Once we, once we update our main bundle configuration with a new resource, we can run validation and deploy our resources to create a new workflow for monitoring piece. Bundle monitoring has only one job, one workflow, and one step that runs refresh monitor script from scripts folder. Let's check if we are connected to workspace. We are connected to our workspace, everything looks green. 
So let's run some CLI commands that we have learned in the previous lecture. I will first run Databricks bundle validate to validate my configuration. Looks okay. So I proceed with Databricks bundle deploy. This will deploy all the resources defined in my main bundle. In this case, it will deploy well, deploy or update existing model deployment workflow and create a new workflow for monitoring piece. It says it's complete. Let's go to our workspace and see our pipelines. Yes, here we see a new workflow being created for monitoring script. And it has one task to execute refreshmonitor.py. And this brings us to the end of our lecture series. We have covered a lot of ground and I hope you not only learned something valuable but also enjoyed the journey along the way.